Mogan Carla Mornings, welcome. Wisp. Thank you. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you too. I love your hair. We're loving Thank vibes. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. How did you go about picking your outfit for today for Lollapalooza? Because it's hot, but we still want to look cute. It was very hot. I did not look at the weather app, so I didn't know it was going to be this hot. I'm from LA. Okay. Yeah. So it is pretty hot there, but. Different humidity levels in yeah, LA. For yeah, for sure. It's like. It's moist here. Yeah, very. Yeah, but I was looking on Pinterest for outfit ideas. <laughs> There's this one manga that I really love. It's called Nana, mm -hmm. and she's a rock star. And so I was just looking at pictures of her, and I was like, what would Nana wear? So I just <laughs> put this together, yeah. Oh, is is Nana like your inspiration? Like when you're going towards like outfits or even music, do you find yourself looking back at that kind of like yeah, art? Yeah, for sure. It's either her or the other character in that book, Hachi, and she dresses so pretty too, but it's like cutesy, and then Nana's like all like rock star vibes, which is really <laughs> cool. So I like to switch back, okay. back and forth, yeah. Wow, uh, you said that you live in Los Angeles. Uh, are you like LA born and raised? No, I actually grew up in SF, and then I moved to LA recently this oh, January. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I represent SF. Yeah, okay, I'm life. from Napa Valley, so SF. like, oh, okay, cool, I get it, up cool. north. Um, how do you feel like the vibes are different? I feel like everybody goes to LA, it's like the land of dreams. Yeah. And and so many people are aspiring to, to grow their careers. How do you maintain yourself focused? Because I feel like it's also a lot of room for distraction. I don't really go out at night, to be honest. I, I don't really enjoy like that kind of lifestyle. Um, but most of the days I go to the studio, so I make music from Monday to Sunday and then I'll hang out with some of my close friends that I've made in LA as well and we'll just go out to eat, um, hang out at my apartment. So it's it's really chill vibes, yeah. So you, I need you to keep can, the energy. Yes, yeah. yes, keep it safe. You right, sort exactly. of made LA whatever you need it to be in a sense. Exactly. And yes. so the, the music and the work is really truly a full time job for you in a sense that you're like all day every day pouring pouring your heart and soul into and you said Monday through Sunday so yeah Monday through Sunday but sometimes I give myself Saturday off okay, oh, okay yeah. good. I, I mean eventually we have to do laundry right yeah. right exactly. we're still humans yes yeah. exactly. um, what's your process like to do music because if you're doing it all the time you've got to have different methods or you're gonna get bored yeah, sometimes, you know, I hit a block and I just get stumped and I don't know what to make, but my producer that I work with, Max Epstein, aka Photographic Memory, he he always tells me to just, you know, keep doing it and keep making music because at some point you're going to get those ideas back again and you just need to keep that mind going all the time. Mm -hmm. And so I found that that really works for me best. And making music is what I enjoy doing the most too. So even if I did have an off day, I'm like, please, I need to go to the studio. Like, <laughs> I really want to make music. Yeah. So your heart is in the music. I wonder how do you feel getting like fan love and stuff? I mean, you're performing at Lollapalooza. How does that feel to put that music out to a big audience that they're not just receiving your music right. online in their house or on their phone they're receiving that live how does that feel to you it's crazy i feel like it's a pretty similar feeling to you know when i read fan dms or you know sweet messages when people tell me like hey your music has helped me so much and seeing that in real life and these people telling me that face to face it's it's like so crazy to think about that the music that I make that helps me be in a better mental state also yeah. helps other people yeah and I feel like that's the thing that keeps me going for yeah. sure I well that's the best part about music is that you can write lyrics that are personal to you right and depending on where people are in their lives they're going to accept that message however they need to and so it's just able to be relatable to so many people yes. with your fans have have you received any messages where they've been able to tell you how it's affected them positively? Yeah, many times. And one time was in New York on the tour that I just did this spring. Mm -hmm. And this guy was telling me how much my music has changed his life and, you know, how it helped him when he was going through a rough time. And I never heard that face to face before, you know, it's always messages that I read. And so I was outside, all the fans waiting and I started bawling and I just oh. like started crying. It was crazy. It was just such a surreal feeling knowing yeah. that my music could help someone in that way. So, yeah. you know. Do you have a fan base name yet? Not really. Well, they call themselves Whispers, which I think oh, it's really cool. Of course they do. I know, and I think it's so cute. It's so, so cute. I think eventually at your concerts, you should be like, everybody whisper to yeah. me. And then they could, because it is kind of like how I sing. I sing in a whispery way, so it's fitting for yeah. sure. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah.
Well, we're so glad that you were able to come here, that you were at Lollapalooza. Thank you. Um, that you made it out of LA into Chicago, a little Midwest in you. We're so happy that we got to talk to Thank you. Are you, are you so having much. just the best time while you're here in Chicago? Have you been I've here been, before? I've never been here. It's okay. my first time okay. in Chicago. Yeah. yeah. So I've been having a lot of fun. Yeah. All right. It's been great. You got to check out the bean. You gotta be a super tourist to check oh, out the bean. Oh right, the shiny bean. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's like right over there. Oh no way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna go take a picture with yeah. it after this. Yes, you have to. It's like a rite of passage for <laughs> right. Chicago. Right. Okay. Well, thank you. Wisp, so nice to meet you and so thank nice you. So nice to meet you guys too. Thank you so much for having me.